guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm gonna be sharing my favorite type of video, a Dollar Tree haul. And I found some really amazing things at the Dollar Tree. As you guys know, I love the 99 cent store, but I live closer to a Dollar Tree. And you guys seem to really like Dollar Tree, so I wanted to share a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So the first thing are these boxes. These are such cute boxes and great for gift giving. I'm currently doing a DIY. I'm actually gonna film my DIY after this Dollar Tree haul. And these are perfect containers for DIY projects, like if you make soaps and candles and things like that. At the Dollar Tree that I go to regularly, there is barely any good makeup. You guys seem to find better makeup than me. And like I go to different locations, but still I can't seem to find really good makeup. But I found one today. Day, and it is the Milani liquid lip color. I'm actually wearing it right now I wore it on purpose to show you guys what it looks like and the color is actually let me see the name It just says There's actually no name. That's very strange. It just says MLG lip gloss No name whatsoever, but it's it's just red. It looks like this. There's different colors They have like pink peach red um, but I chose a red one it is so moisturizing on the lips and it's got a delicious vanilla coconut scent to it. I think that, okay, I might be wrong. It might, okay, it smells like coconut vanilla to me, but at the same time, it smells like buttercream. So I have no idea. I just, I just know that it smells really good. Um, if you apply just a little bit, it goes on sheer, but if you pack it on like I do, it looks, you know, opaque. So it all depends on how you want to do it, but if you pack on too much, it starts to look crazy because it's so shiny. So Justin has this back scratcher that he keeps on his desk and he like, like when he's like working, he like scratches his back. It's so funny and cute at the same time. But here's the thing. I worry about that back scratcher. Like what if he, what if it breaks and he can't find a replacement? So when we went to the Dollar Tree, I was so so excited because I saw the same exact one Justin tested it out he's like yeah I think it, it's it's the right one so we got it and I'm so excited that he has a backup because if ever his precious back scratcher you know breaks you know we got a replacement I also got some adorable stuff for Liam we got these paint your own ornaments Liam loves to paint he just loves to stamp and paint so this is gonna be perfect and we're gonna put this on our Christmas tree and then this is so freaking adorable like I had to get it it's a little bag oh my gosh it's a tote bag and with fabric marker and Liam can just color all over it I mean like he doesn't color in lines he just like scribbles everywhere but still a one-year-old this is still a fun activity so so I'm excited and he can put like his little toy cars in it and stuff. He's gonna love it. I also got some polka dot tissue paper. I don't know, but I'm obsessed with polka dots. Well, I do know why because it's a Filipino thing that polka dot means good luck. So that's why I really love polka dot. So anytime I, I see polka dot, I kind of want to get it. But this is perfect because when you're giving gifts and it's in a polka dot tissue paper, it's kind of like good luck. So that's why I got it. I also got this basket bag. It's perfect for gift giving. You know, the holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving. If you want to make a gift basket, this is perfect. And you can find this at the Dollar Tree. And the reason why I'm telling you is because a lot of people do a lot of like homemade or DIY projects during this time to give to family and friends or to just decorate their home. And the first place that I typically go to is Hobby Lobby because I love that store for crafts. But then I decided, let me check the Dollar Tree out first or the 99 cents out first before I go to the Hobby Lobby because I can end up finding some of the stuff that I need for a dollar instead of like five at Hobby Lobby, you know? I mean, Hobby Lobby does have like those 40% off coupons, but still the Dollar Tree in the 99 cent store ends up becoming so much cheaper. So that's what I decided to do. And I found amazing stuff for my DIY like this tin and then I also found these little containers for a DIY project that I'm doing. They're just cups and then other clear bowls as well. I also got this candle holder because I want to make my own candle and this is perfect. Like perfect. I didn't have to go to any other store to find it. Have you guys ever heard of pet egg? I had a pet egg and I love that thing. Like it really helped for like really crusty feet and I saw this and I was all like this looks just like the pet egg. So let me go ahead and see how it works 
right now for you guys. I'm not going to show you like the way my feet look because my feet are just straight up nasty right now. But let me show you how it works and I'll tell you if it works. So it's, yeah, pretty much like a ped egg. You just put this in like that. Okay, so it's in just like the ped egg and then you scrape your feet. You guys, you guys, it's not working. So I'm glad that I tested it out because I was really excited. I was gonna be like, you guys buy it because it's like the pet egg replacement. But no, it it didn't do nothing for my feet. Maybe I got a bad one, but no, it, no, it's not doing anything. So you guys, this didn't work, but at least I tried it. I tried it out and you guys don't have to waste your money. And I don't feel so bad that I wasted a dollar because then I got to tell you guys about it about how you guys shouldn't buy it. I love cookies, I love it so much, and I was so excited when I saw this recipe book. It's 50 tasty recipes you'll love. Oh my goodness, apple pecan cookies, Swedish tea cakes, ooh, Nana snickerdoodle, Kay's butter cookies, grandma's dish pan cookies, best oatmeal cookies. Oh, why do I have to look through this? Now I want cookies, but, this seems like real, a really great cookbook and you know, it's like a paperback and it's very simple, it's black and white, but as long as you get a recipe and it's only a dollar for 50 recipes, that's great. I found some adorable books and I can't wait to read them to Liam. Hugs and Kisses, Mommy Loves Me. So you open it book, open it up, mommy. My mommy hugs and kisses me each and every day. Oh, I love it and it's a panda, you guys. Did you guys ever have like a stuffed animal when you were little? My stuffed animal that I remember that got so gross and dirty, it was a panda bear. It was so special to me. So when I saw this, I had to get it. This is a very special book to me, more so than just maybe some random person who didn't give a crap about a panda bear. But to me, it's like a book about mommy loving a baby and then the fact that I had a panda bear growing up. Liam has a blue bear, he calls him where <laughs> it's so cute and then i also got some festive holiday ones a snowman and a reindeer candle a mistletoe um a yule log snowballs we don't ever have yule logs but maybe we should try turkey i also got some decorative shred again for a do-it-yourself project you guys need to check out that place if you guys like to DIY everything because they have amazing things. And then, oh, I always, always buy these. I actually hauled this last time in one of my Dollar Tree hauls. It's a click and flame multi-purpose lighter. You know, it's that time of the year when I just go crazy over my marshmallow fireside candle. So I, and then I always run out of these candles, I mean these lighters. So these are great and they actually work. You guys asked last time if they actually last long and they work, they last forever. Some household practical stuff, some sponges. I actually went to Dollar Tree for saran wrap. I looked everywhere. They don't have saran wrap. They have foil, they have wax paper, they have Ziploc bags, but they didn't have saran wrap. Like I was thinking, what's going on? Maybe that place, you know, just wasn't stocked up the specific Dollar Tree, but they had no saran wrap. Let me know if your Dollar Tree has saran wrap because I'm confused. Like I, I just couldn't figure out why they didn't have it. And I spent forever, I spent like 10 minutes just looking and looking. So it's that time of the year when I do a lot of giveaways, when I mail a lot of packages out, and I like to make sure that my packaging is cute. I don't know why, it's just very important for me to have good packaging for you guys, for family members when I ship out gifts. And so I got the cutest duct tape. I got pink chevron and then this gorgeous blue. Like I'm all about this blue, like if there was a rug, with this color scheme, I would buy it, like for real. Like look at this, I want a rug like this. So that one time I had ombre hair, I got my hair professionally dyed a dark brown, but then my ombre started popping up, so I started dyeing my hair at home just because it's cheaper. And when I dye my hair, I just like sit around and wait for it, but in um, like the way I like to prevent dripping is I usually like to use a plastic bag and cover my hair. But then, you know, I was watching a video by Sonia SC Castaneda and she was talking about how she uses a shower cap. So I bought a shower cap and it keeps your, you know, your hair dye from like dripping everywhere when you're like just doing random things around the house while you're waiting for your hair to color. So I thought that was smart. So thanks Sonia for the idea.
This is really exciting. They have SE sleek stick. They're like, you know, snail stickers for your nails. Like they had some ugly designs though, I'm not gonna lie. Like they had like some snake skin design and then they also had this like leopard type of design. I think this leopard design was the cutest. That's why I picked it, but that's like that snake skin one was not my style. Um, this is not really my style, but I just wanted to tell you guys, go to your Dollar Tree if you guys are into nail stickers and this is by Essie. And the thing that I like to do with these type of nail stickers is I don't like it all over my nails. It's, it's just too dramatic for me. It's just not my style. So what I like to do is I like to use it as an accent nail. So I put the nail sticker on as like on one finger and I just wanted to show you guys that you guys can even put it on top of your <laughs> press on nails because you guys know I've been into press on nails. So I had on uh, this um, cute pink press on nails and I put it on top and it looked good. It looked natural and I just loved it and it was so cute. But the thing is my, my press on nails were the day I decided to put on the nail sticker, my press on nails were kind of like falling off. So I only got to keep that design for a day, but I trust me, it lasts longer than a day, the nail stickers. If you guys are into planners and washi tapes, this is the cutest for the holidays. It's got green, red, silver, and gold. And these are all like perfect colors for the holidays when you're like designing your planners. I don't hardcore design my planner, but I do like a little bit of washi tape every now and then. And this is even great for like when you're wrapping up gifts for the holidays or any reason, like you don't need any reason to be decorating anything with tape. As long, you know, it makes you happy, you go go crazy. <laughs> I also got some ribbons, a blue polka dot one, cause you guys know I'm obsessed with polka dots. And then this just regular white, with silver designs on them and these are great for our DIYs again or gift giving and the last thing I got are these cute stickers they're like puffy stickers and they're of helicopters and planes and the clouds and I got them for Liam because I love doing art projects with Liam um, pretty often like I don't know maybe once a week or even more than once a week because he just seems to like it Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching my Dollar Tree haul I hope you guys enjoy the only thing that was a bust in this haul was that pet egg wannabe thing It just no it didn't work out it, it might be like my feet is real crusty, so if there was anyone who could test this out right now, it would be me, you know what I mean? But it didn't work. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy my Dollar Tree hauls, give it a thumbs up. I try to do these monthly. I try to do it like twice a month, but it was just too crazy. And I feel like um, monthly is, is a good amount, right? I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.